Next topic is pointers and arrays. So let's consider an array of name x of type integer. So int x5 that means it is having five elements and we have declared and initialized with the first five numbers say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So it is initialized also. And let's assume that the base address of this array is 1000. And if we assume integer as 2 bytes, 1000, 1000, 2000, 4000, 6008, these are the address locations. And the elements are x of 0. First element is 1. Second element x of 1 is 2. Like that, 1 to 5. They are the 5 elements of the array. And this initial location of the array is called base address of the array. So here 1000 is the base address. And we can see uh, we are declaring a, an integer pointer say p and p equals x. That means it saves the initial value or initial address location or the base address of the array x. So this is equivalent to giving like p is equal to ampersand sign x of 0. x of 0 means it is the first element of the array and ampersand f x of 0 means address of the first uh, element of the array. So this is equivalent to directly writing p is equal to x. Okay, that's first thing which we need to uh, remember. Then first element say and x0. So p is equal to x will also is uh, equivalent to this statement. Then p plus 1, that means it will be ampersand sign x of 1 because it is pointing to the next integer in the array. And p plus 2 means as it is an integer pointer, it will move to through 2 bytes. So p plus 2 will be 1004, p plus 3 will be 1006, p plus 4 will be 1008. And here, for example, if we use a float array, if x is float, then the difference is that float is 4 bytes. So, if we are assuming in a particular uh, processor, say float is uh, 4 bytes, say float uh, A5, something like this. So, here each element is 4 bytes. So, if that be the case, and if we write then only float pointer can point to this. So float star ptr is equal to a. If we give like this, then ptr will correspond to ptr equals a. That means ptr corresponds to a of 0. And ptr plus 1 will correspond to. It will correspond not equal. It will correspond to the second element or a of 1. So if this is 1000. Then this will be PTR plus 1 will be 1004 because it will be incremented by 4 bytes. Okay, because its size is 4 bytes. Here, as integer is taken to be 2 bytes, PTR plus 1 will be 1000 plus 2, P, P plus 2 will be 1000 plus 4, like that. Okay, so here you can identify uh, this relation as base address of the array plus size of each element into this value index that's how you get this value okay so here 4 means here it will be 1000 is the base address so 1000 is the base address plus sizes we know that here it is 2 bytes for int so 2 into 4 that is 8 so you get 1008 like this so it is the base address of the array plus size of each element so if it is int it will be 2 float it is 4 in uh, some other processor pendium processor int is also 4 like that so based on that particular process size of each element into index of that element this is how this will be incrementing Next, let's predict this output. So, x of 5, that means there are 5 elements and this is our array. This is our array and the elements are 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is the first element, say x of 0, x of 1, x of 2, x of 3 and x of 4. So, this is our array. And in star ptr and uh, this is part of the comment itself. So, PTR is equal to, here the first statement is PTR is equal to ampersand sign x of 2. That means, this location x of 2 means here 
this one. This address is saved here. Okay, so first print of star PTR will be, it will be printing x of 2. That will be, output will be 3. Here, printing star of PTR plus 1. This is pointing to x of 2. So, plus 1 will be, it is pointing to 4. So, initially this is, PTR is pointing to 3 itself. Again, PTR minus 1 means 1 element before that. So, here the output will be 2. So, here the output will be star PTR equals 3, star PTR plus 1 equals 4, star PTR minus 1 equals 2. So, when we use pointers, we don't have to bother the size, whether integer is 2 or 4. We don't have to bother about it because when we call an integer pointer, it will correspond to the consecutive integer elements in the array. Now let's check another program. We'll uh, write a program to find sum of elements of an array using pointers. So here array of 6 elements x of 6 and for int i is equal to 0 i less than 6 i plus plus. Normally we write scan of percentage d ampersand sign x of i. Instead of ampersand sign of x of i you can write x plus i because x the name of the array is behaving like a pointer to that array itself. So x plus i means the address corresponding to the element of x of i. Okay, so in scanf we don't have to use star operator or dereferencing operator. We give scanf x plus i and then after getting each element, we have to add it to the sum. So, initially sum was initialized to 0. So, sum plus equals, instead of x of i, we give star of x plus i. We cannot give x plus i because that corresponds to the address location. So, you, you have to give sum plus equals star of x plus i. Now, outside the loop, you can print the sum. So, this is how you add the sum of elements of an array using pointers. So, let's check enter 6 elements. Will be getting 11 plus 4, 15, 18, 21. So you are getting the answer. Let's check another program. Here we have initialized four elements of the array x of 4 as 1, 2, 3, 4. Then within the loop i is equal to 0, i less than 4. We are printing the values. So, here directly we know that x of i corresponds to each element. And to check what we what I explained earlier, you can give like this. Star of x plus i. Okay, so both these should give the same output. This is using the array and this is using point. So, let's check the output. You can say here 1, 2, 3 and 4. Our four elements were 1, 2, 3 and 4. Okay, so here you are printing as array and here you are printing using pointers and we got the value and address of array is this is the starting address of the array that is also printed as the last comment because here we are printing x itself instead if we give star x what will happen it will print the first element of the array that is one will be printed we can check that also instead if i give here a star x and then it is expecting an integer value, so percentage d also, and let's check the output. So now the value is 1. This is not address, it is the value. Okay, so that's the difference between star and without using star if we give the name of the variable. Here we can change percentage p. Here we need the number, integer, so we will give percentage d and can execute again now we can see in the same way so first was by printing x of 0 x of 1 x of 2 x of 3 like that which we are already familiar and the second step using pointers we printed so for printing the value using pointer we use dereferencing operator or star symbol asterisk symbol so star x star of x plus 1 star of x plus 2 star of x plus 3 like that we got the value and here you are getting the base address of the array x.